Hello, my name is Ardi and we are going to solve problem 7.24 from Sadiku book. So the question is express the following signals in term of singularity function. Okay, let's start from problem A first. Okay, the first thing that you need to do when doing a singularity function definition is to draw the function. Okay, so we will have this function here. So in the x-axis, we will have time. And in the y-axis, we will have the voltage, right? So I do I just want to do this. So I will have the E and this. And on the x-axis, we will have time. Like this. Okay, so tp is equal to zero when t is less than zero. So we will have this function like this here. And then when t is greater than zero, it drops into minus five. So we will have minus five. Minus five is here. So we will have this function like this. Okay, now because this is zero, we can just use ut there. So I will have ut is equal to ut. But then we have some constant multiplier here, which is minus 5. And I think that is what can we do for problem A from the picture. Okay, now let's move on to problem B. And similarly, the first thing that we need to do is just to draw it. Okay, I think we will have three up and three down. Or let's do four, four. And this one is time, right? Yeah, so the x-axis is time. And then the y-axis is the current, or IT. Okay. When T is less than 1, it's 0. Okay, so let's draw it. 0. And this stops at 1. Okay. First, it is like this. This is 1. So we'll have 1 here. And then it goes to minus 10 for 1 less than 3 less less than 3. So between 1 and 3, 1, 2, 3. So 3 is here. This will be minus 10. Okay. So I think I will have it like this. Goes down here and like this. But this is minus 10. And then at 3 we get it to move up here so we will have positive 10 so this will be 10 and I think I just want the label beside the the function so 1 3 and it stays 10 until 5 so we will have 5 there and then for greater than 5 it takes to zero. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is this function zero until one. So we will have u t minus one. Yeah, because we shift the function to the right. So this is our it here. But then at 1, the value becomes minus 10. So I'll have minus 10 here. Minus 10, u, t minus 1. And then it stays until 3. And then it goes from minus 10 until 10. So we need to add 20 there. Why 20? Because uh, 20 plus minus 10 is equal to 10, right? So I'll have 20. I mean u. 20 u t minus 3 okay and it stays there 
until 5 so we need to subtract 10 because currently we have 10 and we want it to be 0 so I'll have minus 10 u t minus 5 okay this is the answer for problem b okay now let's move on to problem c and problem d let's clean up the slide first Okay, now let's do problem C, and yet again we need to draw the plot first. So I just do it like this. The y axis is xt, and then we have the x axis is time. Okay, between 1 and 2, that will be t minus 1. So, 1 minus 1 is 0. I think that start from here. And then 2 minus 1 is 1. So, it ends here. Mm. I think we start from here first. This is 1, right? This is 1. And then... 2 is there. 2 minus 1. Okay, let's let's make that 1. And so what happened before t is going 1? Okay, 0. So we will have 0 like this. And then this will be the case until 2. And then it stays 1 until 3. So let's let's do it like this. So I'll have 3. And then 4 minus t. So when it's equal to 4, that will be 0. Okay. Okay, it becomes like this. So the first thing that we notice is this is the RAM function here shifted to the right. So let's start from that. So we will have xt. xt is equal to the RAM function here but shifted to the right. So I'll have t minus 1 like this. And then we need to find out the slope. The slope changed from 1 to 0. So we will have minus r. Yeah, because this is the slope 1 and this is the slope 0. And change to 0 at t is equal to 2, so minus 2. And now again, we change the slope from 0 to minus 1. So we subtract again r, but then t minus 3. But then here, the slope change from minus 1 to 0. So we will have plus r t minus 4. And this is the answer for question C. Okay, now finally let's let's do question D. Okay, let's draw the plot again. Okay. Okay, that will be 2 for the time less than 0. Maybe like, I will do it like this. So this is 2. Right? And then it drops to minus 5. Yeah. Drops to minus 5 like this. And then it stays until time is equal to 1. Then it goes to 0. Okay, so this is minus 5. Okay, maybe let's see the first one that we know this. This is 2u minus t, right? So d, that is yt, right? Yt. 
step will be yt is equal to 2u minus t. So for this part. But then we have this minus 5 down here that start from 0. So I think I will just have minus 5 multiplied by ut. Ut. But then it goes back up here. So we will have minus u t minus 1. Yeah, I think that is the last one. So we will have 2u minus t and then minus 5ut and then plus 5ut minus 1. And this is the answer for question D. And we have solved all the questions from here. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.